Well, Kerry Offal certainly knows how to make an entrance, to put it lightly. Making his way through the crowd, making sure he's not leaving here in Huntsville, Alabama with any extra friends whatsoever. Well, and Kerry Offal's been doing this for a long time, and he has been traveling the world, upsetting fans everywhere he goes. No different here tonight at the Von Braun Center in Huntsville. Well, despite the inflammatory remarks from Kerry Offal, this is a veteran of this business for almost as long as Kylie Alexa has been alive. That is quite the stat. And that is something that, you know, with Kylie, we regularly talk about the dichotomy between that inexperience advantage, but also at the same time growing up in a wrestling family, being in a wrestling ring and around the wrestling ring her entire life. But against somebody like Carrie Offal, who has the world travel experience, oh, we got a couple from Kylie. Carrie Offal, with the experience that he has, I think that for the first time in a long time since we've been calling Kylie Alexa matches, she just very well might have bit off more than she could chew here tonight. Maybe swimming in the deep waters here tonight, the young Kylie Alexa, just a year and a half into her professional wrestling journey, already has had so much success. One half of the NWA Women's Tag Team Champions, of course, a part of Pretty Empowered, and now tearing up the tag team division in New South alongside of her sister. Speaking of which, last night, Kinsey Page versus Carrie Offal actually tore the house down. I think it's okay. Kylie Alexa asking for my medical advice. I'm not sure. Oh, hold on, we got a guest. We got a guest. Hold on. Get her back, Stripes! Do you like Kylie? Do you don't like Kylie? Hold up, let me break this up. Yep. Broke the plane. If Smart. everybody in this building says, go Kylie, go, I swear to God, I'm gonna go out there, get in my helicopter, and I'm gonna freaking leave. You know that's exactly a helicopter? That's not on the new south Stop. Plane, is it? Stop. I certainly hope that's not coming out of our check. First, we're spending $5,000 to rent the belt that we should already own, now this? Well, start your engines, Carrie. Taking advantage of Kylie Alexa here in the early minutes of this match. Of course, talk about the experience advantage. Well, Kylie, maybe inexperienced, she certainly has the heart, has the tenacity, has that fighting spirit. You know, Let's and see if, if that's gonna be enough. You know, here and if there, there is one thing that I think could benefit Kylie in this competition is that you have noticed Pretty Empowered and the mm -hmm. Carnies have been scrapping every single place that they go. I was about this to say is, it's gone past New South. This is a, a rivalry that, that expands past New South that is boiled over into multiple companies, and I'm sure there's plenty more to follow. So if there's anything to say about that, maybe Kylie's learned a little bit about Kerry Offal that she might be able to use against him. What is that? Was an interesting talent. I've seen less clothes around here. Sure. Quite the uh, interesting experience here at Comic Con, the Huntsville Anime Invasion. You see, uh, not our typical crowd here at New South Pro Wrestling. Got a lot of cosplayers. Been a Fun couple of evenings, Rob. I think I see a narwhal back there. <laughs> you know you're right. Another thing that I see is this match in the ring, and as we saw, you know. Oh! We, oh no, no. Sheer manhandling of Kylie almost, Alexa here. Kylie almost completely fell on the commentary table right there. A it was a close, close call. Comfort. But as we've seen, you know, this we've been here all weekend, and Kylie Alexa had recently a match with Carrie's tag team partner, Nick Iggy. Mm, yeah, last and she's night. hoping to try to replicate some of the success that she had against Iggy. Oh. What's she have in mind here? Going for that cross phase. Cross phase is hooked. Center this of the ring. It. We talk about how she's wise beyond her years. Look at that. That ring psychology, knowing her placement. Keeping Carrie in the center of the ring as far away as humanly possible from that bottom and rope. You see, as he goes over and finally makes his way over to this rope, she was doing everything she could to torque her body to keep him from doing so. And in comes Maxwell Classic with his uh, self-proclaimed $9,000 kimono. She's still holding on. 
Oh! Like a battering ram just slung into the corner. That unbridled aggression that of Gary Hoffel. And much like last night, when it was Carey versus Kinsey Page, Kinsey was almost the de facto defender of anime in nerd culture. And tonight, it's <laughs> it's Kylie Alexa Ooh. taking up the mantle. That was one of the nastiest chops I've ever seen. Looked like he might have even caught the bottom of Kylie's throat with that shot. Carey fighting like he's got a chip on his shoulder, and you don't wrestle in this business for as long as Carey Awful has without having that. And this is a guy that mm -hmm. people try to tell Carey Awful, they try to tell the Carnies the odds on a daily basis. You don't tell the Carnies the odds. And there's a lot of people that would think any member of Pretty in Power would be the favorite, but Carey Awful doing everything he can to shut that down. Well, long before the years of the success of Pretty Empowered. Hold on, cover made very, very confidently, to put it lightly. But long before the successes of Pretty Empowered, the Carnies have been running rough shots since 2013, when Kinsey and Kylie were in middle school, Rob. Yes. And if you're a wrestling fan, tell us who your favorite current day tag team is. I can almost mm -hmm. promise you the Carnies have been in the ring with them. Kylie Alexa could be fading here. Gotta hang in there, gotta keep it. Oh, oh she's, she's there's still, still life, there's still fight left. Come on, not just the current names in tag team wrestling. This is a team, one of the few teams on the scene today who can say that they have wrestled the Rock and Roll Express. We see the look on Carrie's face now. As he crawls towards the center of the ring. What does Kylie have in mind here? Oh, Kylie ducks. She tripped. Hip Carey attack. on the way in. Precarious position. What is this? No way. Oh my God, Powerball. Using his own momentum cover. Letting gravity do the work. Unbelievable offense from Kylie Alexa. And we see Maxwell Classic here sharing some advice with Kerry Offa. Wait, hold on a second. Kylie Alexa off the ropes. Kylie Suicide dive. Oh, but the, oh. oh. Kerry Offa caught it, but Kylie Alexa ah. able to spin out Tornado DDT onto the concrete floor. Unbelievable. Kylie Alexa never ceases to amaze me every time she steps in this ring. Just when you think Kerry Offa has her down, catching her midair, she's able to use that momentum to connect with a Tornado DDT. What does she have in mind here? Perhaps going for a crossbody. No, Codebreaker. Codebreaker off the middle, goes for the cover. Outside leg hook, but right on the ropes. Too close to the ropes. Kylie frustrated, but. Kylie's gonna have to be careful because that right there, I think carry off and I'm looking in his eyes. I think he notices that frustration. Mm -hmm. I think he sees that as a chink in the armor of Kylie Alexa. And you see immediately, now carry off immediately back on the offensive. Looking to take advantage. That razor's edge. It could be a last call for oh. Kyle. Oh! Into the referee and thank, I hate to say it, thank God Adam was there. She was flying towards the commentary table, Rob. And he's trying to crawl over for the cover, but Kylie under the ropes, wisely. very wise. Wisely, wise beyond her years. Talk about ring positioning and now again over here by the commentary area. Hold on, Maxwell! Max! The referee's distracted by Carrie. Max is down. And I wish Ref, turn around. I wish there's something I could do here, but folks, I can't. There's nothing I could do. Taping her. She's ta Max, taping her hell? ankle. Taping her hell? ankle. The referee's the referee's administering his 10 count. He can't see Max. He can't see Max. Ref, what the hell is happening? Referee up to a count of four. Kylie's taped. The referee, none the wiser. We can't intervene. Come on, Kylie. Up to a count of eight. No, not look, like this. Look how Carrie. Like look how Carrie blocks the view. That is it. Here is your winner by 
count out, Carrie Awful. Well, Carmen, they don't ask how, they ask how many, and that's another one in the win column for Carrie Awful, and another one in the win column for the oh! Carmen. Terry Awful may be your winner, but Kylie Alexa standing tall here.